Hello Aquarius, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages for Aquarius, ooh, ooh. Revival, maybe of new love, we'll see. Okay, what's going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Let me do one more shuffle here. All right, overall energy, the tower. How this person feels is the king of coins. How they view you, Aquarius, the high priestess. Interesting. Action advice need to know the ace of swords and the outcome is ooh, the devil. Could be very passionate. King of swords could be you under the deck. Okay. All right. Let's see what's happening. Let me use this deck. I'm going to go over here to do this deck. I don't use this one very often. I'm going to ask the universe for messages for Aquarius. Show us what is going on in this reading. What is going on for them? Okay, what is the tower energy for Aquarius? The king of swords again. The nine of swords is in reverse and the eight of swords is in reverse. Well, so someone's breaking free. Someone, this could be you or somebody else, but um, they're not worrying anymore about being stuck. They're breaking out of a situation. All right, how this person feels is the king of coins. Out in the cold, five of coins, four of cups, unhappy with being offered two of coins in reverse also. So this person could definitely be just unhappy with their circumstances, their surroundings. They could be um, married to someone, possibly. But um, yeah, they, and when I see two of coins in reverse, it's like someone is no longer trying to decide they've decided they're not happy they're not happy where they're at they want to make a huge change now they see you as the high priestess though so they may see you as being very intuitive or beautiful because you know another deck well this deck also oh there you are look i split the deck they see you differently so let me see how do i explain this i'm feeling like they see you as someone who's very unique special uh maybe maybe spiritual if they know about that stuff intuitive okay what is the high priestess what is the high priestess? Oops, the six of cups, the star card, there you go, and the judgment, but it's in reverse. Okay, so they're spying though. So this person wants you, but it's like you're untouchable, Aquarius. They may see you as someone who does not want to get back together with them, and you might not. That might be the whole reading, I don't know, but um, they're definitely spying. Ace of Swords is the advice or need to know. So this person probably wants to renew something with you. We have the Temperance card, the Queen of Cups, and then we have the Five of Wands in reverse. There could be another person involved. This could be them. They might be a water sign. This is like not wanting to fight anymore. Five of Wands being in reverse. Um, trying to keep their emotions steady. Might be a Sagittarius. This could be you because they, they might view you as being very emotional. You know, usually you guys are not, but I mean, of course you have a lot of emotion, just like every other sign. So they want to come back. They maybe maybe they get you upset also, because Queen of Cups to me can remind me of someone who is crying or wants to cry or feel, you know. Okay, so it's like they want to come back. They don't want to make you upset. They don't want to argue. They don't want this Queen of Cups if that's in the picture. If there's a third person. They don't want to deal with that situation if it is a third person. But the outcome is the devil. So, of course, this could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. Or this could be just something that's very passionate between the two of you. Let's see. What is the devil? We have the strength card. The high priest in reversed. And the knight of coins moving slowly. So, in this deck, this is the hierophant. And he's in reverse. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to have to read this the way it's coming out, and then we'll see if it changes. Could be a Leo or Taurus, of course, also. But this is somebody who may want you as a third party. That's one of the first things I'm seeing here. Because if the Hierophant's in reverse, and we have devil here, it's like, well, we don't need to be in a relationship. We can be friends with benefits. We can just be together. So this might be what, what this person's on, what is on their mind. This energy doesn't really feel like it. It feels like they want to get rid of a past situation, or they just... It could be that they're breaking out of overthinking things and not speaking up. Just, they really miss you. Maybe they are in a marriage and they aren't going to get out, though. Because, again, they're thinking you may not want to get back together, but they're saying, hey, I have to be with you, Aquarius. Let's at least be friends with benefits. Let's work to getting closer or moving forward, Knight of Coins. Or it could just be that they know that you don't want to be with them. But let me see. What is the Knight of Coins? What are they going towards? The wheel? And what is that? It's a victory. So they want victory with you. 
Under the deck right now is the King of Cups, and he's in reverse, though. So this person could be, like, not seeing things straight right now. They may be acting out of their emotions and not their logic. So that could be what I'm seeing here also. I did a reading a while back for a different sign. Um, doesn't matter. Well, that might be like your moon or something. But um, And it was the other person who's going to act reckless. I think it was Sagittarius. But they had a lot of emotion for the person they're dealing with and they want to they just run forward and be with them but it was reckless and it could you know cause a whole wave of problems you know with their spouse or with work or whoever that's kind of what i'm slightly seeing here but this person like they're like screw it you know i'm tired of being stuck i'm tired of being here i'm lonely i am you know the husband or wife or mom or dad or a businessman woman and i am stuck here i feel out in the cold i'm not happy with what i have it's it's not satisfying me what satisfies me is aquarius but they probably don't want me back because of the past they probably don't want to be in a relationship with me there's been drama there's been arguing but i just i've got to go and i've got to see them because passion and emotion is driving this person right now aquarius towards you clear as day what is the Eight of Swords in reverse? What, they want to break out. They want to manifest. He's an upright. He, this person wants to just go for it. Two of Coins in reverse. They made their decision. They want you. They could be dropping somebody else. But because of how this reading is going with the devil being here. And if there is another person, she is probably a, or he, um, I don't want to say dramatic. I don't, I don't want to be like me. But it could be someone who's just not a right fit for this person maybe they find them to be overly emotional and cause problems or something this is you because all of this energy is, is fiery it's passionate it's headed your way this is this you're who they want and i do feel this energy of like i don't care what happens because like even four swords is in reverse under the deck <clears throat> excuse me i don't i don't want to lay here anymore i don't want to sit here anymore i want to take action I'm on a new beginning. Four of Wands. This person may not be stable right now. Doesn't mean they're not a stable person. It just means that they don't. They're not acting out of, I think, rational thoughts. I think they're tired of overthinking things. Coming in as the King of Swords or Queen of Swords, and coming in as like uh, they think things through and they, you know, make a plan. And but now they're like, no. Passion is leading the way with this person. I probably name it that if I can remember. I probably should write it down. I never do. But um, what is Judgment in Reverse? You're too smart for them is what they're saying. Didn't I have that in your last reading, Aquarius? Where they, I don't remember what it was, but something about they can't, you can't get things past Aquarius. And I think I was going to put in the title. I think I decided not to. But it was something about you can't get things past Aquarius. You guys are just, you know, you see through people. You're smart. You're, and obviously they know that you're intuitive. You pick up on what they're not saying. You know what's there. With the star card, you're, you're guided by divine guidance. You're led. Let me say you're led by divine guidance. That would be a better way of saying it. Judgment in reverse. What is this judgment card in reverse? What is this? Okay. Off the top. Okay. Hang on. There we go. Okay. So you're thinking it's going to be just a pain. You're thinking with the Ten of Wands, if you got maybe back... Well, okay. I can read this two ways. Maybe it is difficult without this person. Judgment in reverse. No renewal and you feel weighed down possibly. Or I could read it as getting back into a relationship with this person. You would feel weighed down. What is the Ten of Wands then? I need that clarified. Ten of Swords. Okay, they're making it very clear. You're under the deck. You may be saying hell no to this person at this point. Look at the towers behind you. You're like, no. This person is emotional. King of Cups in reverse. Eight of Wands. A lot of messages. This person's going to come to you with some type of crazy, powerful message, maybe on Valentine's Day, saying, look, I am just done with the past. Okay, they could be married, like I already said, to someone. Ten of Cups. They have the Eight of Cups. Okay, in the past, this person has come across. They didn't want your cup, is what I'm seeing here for. Ace of Cups in reverse emperors in reverse they didn't walk away this person was very stubborn and very like i'm not making changes in the past i'm not doing this aquarius so you know they may have been very rude and mean, mean possibly and now i think they're seeing things differently i think they're going after just passion and lust and um not not that this is just all lust i think that there's more to it but i'm just saying like that's kind of like what's driving them this this need to not be in the cold anymore even if they're surrounded by a lot of people or they're married or they got money that's they're feeling empty on the inside what is the five of wands maybe they want to quit a career also too as a side note but that's something for them to jump into i don't see this being about their career but what is the five of wands in reverse death in reverse okay this 
is the other person. Okay, so what you need to know is that the other person involved in the situation with them has not let go and does not want to let go. They don't want to argue. They're not really coming forward anymore and fighting. They want to make peace with this King of Swords person, but they, they may still be in love with them and they could be Scorpio. They don't want to let, they don't want this to end. So they're hanging on, hanging on to this person. Whereas they want to be with you. And so maybe they feel guilty. And that might be why they're saying, okay, I don't want to leave this person. Maybe this person is dependent on, it, on them. Maybe they have a physical or mental illness or something. So that may be why they're coming to you and saying, look, I have to be with you, Aquarius. Even if it's just, you know, sleeping together and I just, there's no relationship involved. But I just, I have to be with you. But you're saying, I think, no, this isn't a good idea. Ace of Swords under the deck. Show me one more for the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, because some of you are saying, no, I ended this, I don't want to go back. It's, you know, the cycle has run out. Page of Cups communication, like we already see. Ace of Swords, they're going to speak their truth and tell you exactly what they're thinking. They want something big. They want to give you something big. And you may be thinking, well, where is this going to go? Five of Cups, you may be thinking, well, this isn't what I wanted. I'm not getting everything I want out of this relationship with you. Where is it going to go with the Seven of Coins? We've done this before. We've been here at this point. It didn't really pay off. You didn't divorce that person or leave them. And is this going to be worth my time? That's what I think you're going to feel and say. But this person wants a victory with you, though. Let me see what this person wants to say to you. I want to tell you how I feel. Yeah, they have a lot on their mind. They're feeling a whole hell of a lot. Um, I don't get they're going to be super emotional or anything. They are, but they're going to be just like putting it all, like I guess when I say that, I mean, they're not going to be crying and carrying on. They're just going to be like, all this is going to come out. Like, I'm just sick of this and that. I want to be with you, Aquarius. I can't stop thinking about you. And what else? I'm starting to understand this connection. So again, the timing just wasn't right. Again, they're saying... They're understanding that the, what you, the two of you had isn't just about sex or pa you know the passion. That's there. That's wonderful. But it's that you guys are probably true soulmates. Um, you guys see eye to eye. You may help them in ways by, you know, they see you as the high priestess. So I feel like you give them good advice. Something about that also. Like you, you know things and they know you know things and they find that intriguing. But you're not just there to like use them or take their money or just, you know, drain them emotionally or financially, you give them a lot more than what they're getting in this relationship they're in. That's what I'm seeing here. So they want a victory with you, but it's not going to be what you want at this point. Because things can change, but this person's definitely lost it with the tower or going to lose it with the tower. They're finally going to break through, break out, and make, but it doesn't mean they're necessarily going to get divorced. So I'm going to extend this one. I want to see what this person is thinking and feeling and doing and where this could head in the future and what else is showing up in this relationship or this connection, I should say. All right, so I'm going to put the link below, you guys. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.